Hello everyone and welcome to Los Angeles. I've literally just taken the 10 hour flight and arrived at a hotel with that bad boy outside. That is not unfortunately our car for the trip. Our car is a little bit further up there, the all blacked out beast, which I will show you in a little while. But a quick background into this trip. I've come out here with my girlfriend. The last holiday we had, you saw, it was the three day trip around Italy in my hurricane. And my girlfriend has never been to America. She's never been to America. So to come here, Los Angeles, for the first time is a little bit of an eye opener for her. We've got a lot planned. I'm here for two weeks. She is here for the first week. So my trip is being split into two. And the first week, I'm gonna be exploring everything with my girlfriend. We're gonna be going up the West Coast a little bit, going on a bit of a road trip. I'm very excited. So I've ordered an Uber and we're headed into Beverly Hills. And hopefully I can kind of capture some audio of my girlfriend's reactions of going into sort of Rodeo Drive and things like that for the first time. We've been walking around for about 10 minutes and I've come to the conclusion that everyone is staring at me because my new camera setup with the handy cam and the mic on the top makes me look like a paparazzi. And out in LA, the paparazzi aren't, well, they're not too popular. So I'm kind of just being frowned upon by a lot of people, which is a little bit awkward. But as a Monday afternoon goes, 36 degrees, there are some beautiful cars hanging out. I can still hear that Lambo there. This is what I love about Los Angeles. You are gonna come up to cars that you just never thought existed. That was one of the coolest customized Aventadors I have seen. And I've seen a fair amount, but that had parts from DMC, Mansory, Novitech, and it drove right past Ferrari Beverly Hills, which has got a LaFerrari Aperta and a TDF, both in the same color. I love this place. Well, good morning. I think it's safe to say that the jet lag got the better of us and it is now eight o'clock. We were up at 4 a.m but then decided to sleep as uh, my car is just getting driven around, which is the first time that you guys are gonna see it. It is a 2016 Dodge Challenger. A couple of things before I start getting into this video as we head up the west coast of California. You will know if you've watched some of my American videos or Sam's American videos, that we use a service called Churo, and that is a Churo car. So someone personally owns that Dodge Challenger, and I think it is the base model. It cost me $60 a day, which is an absolute bargain because it comes with unlimited miles, which means we can drive 350 miles up the West Coast and then back down to LA. And outside, we've got a Maserati and a Lamborghini still. The other thing to quickly mention before we start or embark on this trip is that my girlfriend is a little bit camera shy. She had never once had the desire to get in any of my videos. And if you saw my Italian vlog, then you would also have seen there that she just sort of waved a couple of times. So we're now getting loaded up and getting ready to head up to Monterey Bay. Dodge Challenger friend. Dodge Challenger friend. This is less cool than mine because this one's got black wheels. Recording now? Yeah? What can I say about this car? Firstly, I can almost guarantee that this is the V6 lowest entry model to the Challenger, which would make sense because it would represent the price of how much this car costs per day. I will quickly talk about fuel economy because this is the other reason how I know that it's a V6, is that I filled this tank up and it had 365 miles. We've now been driving on one straight road out of Los Angeles all the way up to Monterey Bay. And when I say one straight road, it is straight, which is making it fairly tedious, but also good for fuel economy. Um, I've only done 
nine miles of fuel between leaving Los Angeles and here. The traffic out of Los Angeles was crazy because everyone's trying to get in for work, but actually we were escaping the city and headed up to Monterey Bay. And it's kind of like a mixture between a desert and farmland with a little bit of mountains in the background, but we're kind of leaving the main canyons behind. And so far, this has got to be one of the comfiest cars I've ever driven. Whilst it isn't as refined as some of the European marks that we have, the steering is a little bit wobbly, it's a little bit light. The seats are so comfy. And I told Sam that I was gonna be hiring this car and he was like, it's literally like driving a sofa. And he's pretty bang on. The air conditioning is of course awesome. It's 72 degrees Fahrenheit. When we left LA, it was 89. Today, it's expected to be 39 degrees, which for the end of October in the UK is just, well, it is, it is unheard of, it's never happened before. I hope I'm right. But, it's, it's, it's difficult to stay mentally stimulated driving on a road like this because for about 120, 130 miles, it has been one straight road. And you just end up looking out really similar views can't complain though because you're driving an American muscle car out in the west coast of California this is a dream of both myself and my girlfriends bucket list type thing doing an American road trip in an American muscle car it's very cliche we look like we're tourists on holiday but it doesn't matter because we're heading up to Monterey Bay and we're going to do another personal bucket list which is whale watching in California I completely forgot how big the parking spaces are because the expectations of cars out here are absolutely huge. So I got super tight to this car, then realized just how wonky the Nissan had parked. So I couldn't even get out. I've actually parked a little bit wonky now, but this car is a big car and I've got so much space either side, so I had to move it. And we have made it to the next hotel, which, well, doesn't really look like much of a hotel. It's a huge complex, but that is definitely the coolest looking car let's now go and check in we have just checked into what I can only describe as being the largest hotel I've ever seen this is the map we've obviously been given our room which is circled somewhere um, but we've actually got a map to the entire hotel and all of their outbuildings which are all of these so it is situated on a golf course I'm just so goddamn hungry but we're in block 8 which is perfect because that's actually just where we parked the car. So ideal. We have found a lunch stop, which is like a Hawaiian grill and they had an incredible selection of menu, tacos, jerk chicken, Thai food. It's an amazing place. And I ordered a burger. Kenny went for tacos, which is probably a better shout than what I went for. But anyway, let's see how good it is. Yes, turns out the burgers there are incredible and it is 39 degrees it's bloody hot and uh, this is actually quite a good timing because I don't know whether you can see but there is a tattoo parlor over there and I put on my Instagram story yesterday if there are any artists that are LA based that fancy doing some artwork on me then uh, to get in touch so I sent out an Instagram story and there was so much response from you guys recommending people and also from tattoo artists as well so I'm in touch with a few of those guys and hopefully potentially towards the end of my trip I'm gonna be organizing a tattoo on me so we'll be doing a vlog about some of my tattoos that I've had because I know I see a lot of comments and a lot of questions about the tattoos that I have already so I thought seeing as I want some more it could be the perfect opportunity to discuss Whilst I'm out here in LA, where it's famous for ink on skin. Made it into the room and now we have to organize dinner, but first I need to edit this video. But whilst I do that, I'm gonna sign off out there and check this out. The sun is going down over there, lens flare for days. And this 
is where I'm going to be spending the next 48 hours. Monterey Bay is absolutely beautiful. It was a completely different vibe to Los Angeles and a completely slower pace of life. And whilst I'm here, I'm looking forward to taking in all of the sights and going on a couple of boats tomorrow. But that is it. That is the first 24 to 48 hours of being on the west coast of America in California. It is so good to be back and we're just getting started. Whilst I'm having a bit of a break with my girlfriend, the vlogs will be be a little bit few and far between I'm probably gonna vlog every two days but then my girlfriend flies back on the 31st of October and I stay out here until the 7th of November so that is when I am planning the carnage and the chaos I'm hopefully gonna be driving some really interesting cars and I'm gonna be doing some wicked wicked vlogs and hopefully attending some events hopefully you've enjoyed this video I'll give you a bit of a warning tomorrow I am going to vlog the boat trip and I think we've got another boat trip planned so I'm gonna be vlogging a very non-car related video next but it is one that I'm excited about and it is also something that's quite special to me ticking off my own personal bucket list so I'm looking forward to getting the videos rolling and it is an early start around 6 a.m. tomorrow so right now I'm going to get crap Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi các bạn hãy bấm like comment và hãy bấm đăng ký để ủng hộ cho kênh mình nha 